Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to link pages on your Squarespace site. This seems very intuitive once you learn it, but at first it may be very confusing. So I'm gonna help you understand how it works, how to master it, and the best tips and tricks to make your user experience flawless. Let's get into it. So here we are on my demo website. The first thing I really wanna emphasize before we get started on linking anything is that we wanna make sure our URL slugs are accurate and correct. Let me show you. So here is our about page. If I click the settings wheel on the about page, you're gonna see the URL slug is forward slash about. That is perfect. Sometimes though, it has really weird things like about dash two, or this was your old newsletter page that you turned into your about page. And so you wanna come in here and adjust it so that it is an accurate URL. Now, you may run into a quick problem that I'll address very fast, but let me just duplicate this page really quick. Go down here, duplicate page, confirm. You're gonna see it says about copy down here, and I'm just gonna act like this is about us. I'll just call it that and then I'll click the little gear wheel. You'll see it says about one. We don't like that, we don't want that because your URL is like a phone number, you're sending people there and you always wanna keep it the same. If you change it later, it causes problem with SEO and then like if anybody ever links to that page and the link breaks, it just causes problems long-term. So we wanna make sure it's the right URL. But if I hit save here, you're gonna see it says this URL is already in use because only one URL could exist with one page at a time. Now, if that's the case, you'll just have to do a deep dive. Hopefully you don't have too many pages. You'll just have to go through all your pages and make sure that if it's your old about page that you just go into the, the settings here, I'll click here and then just do about old, for example, hit save and then drag this down and then drag this one up. So that's a new one in the navigation. I'll click the settings wheel. I'll go in here, click about, get rid of the dash one and then we're good to go. Still says that, but now we're good, perfect. We are set, we are good to go. Now we have the URL set. You wanna do this for all your core pages. From here, we could start linking and setting up links on our site. So let's say we're here on this page. If I click edit and I want to add in a link to the text, just for example, anywhere on this text, what I'll do is I'll highlight book an appointment because I wanna to link to a specific page. I could hit command K on my keyboard or I could click this chain link here. Once I click on that, it gives me these options. As you can see, it's preloaded all my pages, which is awesome. And for your website and URL, you do not need to use the entire URL. All you need to use is the forward slash. So if I hit forward slash, it's gonna show me all of these options and I just need to link to that specific page. So in this case, I'm gonna to link to contact. Boom, just like that, set to go. There's a lot more options in here and I have a whole nother video talking about hyperlinks and all these different options, but for now, we're just gonna focus on getting links set up and linking pages. So here we go, we got the contact set up, we will click out of it and you can see it's underlined now, so the link is there. When I click on it, it'll preview the link for me and show me that it is linked. This is really useful when it comes down to your footer. Let's go in here and let's just say we wanted to add in, let me actually just add a section and use one of these pre-built sections, just for example. All right, here we go. So there's these like random links, so I'm just gonna remove these. I don't know why it looks so funny either. I actually do know, but I'll fix that. Okay, so I'm just gonna press enter. And you'll see here, if I press enter, it does two lines. If I want a little tip, if you go back, if I hit delete and then hit shift, enter, hold down shift and then press enter, it'll do single space instead of paragraph spacing. So boom, just like that, we're good to go. Here, I'm gonna hit command K and then I could set up my links. So let's just say that's about, perfect. You see the underline, we're good to go. This will be services. Boom, just like that, you're starting to set up all the links as you go. So boom, those links are set up. Let me hit save and then exit. Now, if you're trying to set up categories or other things in the menu as links, click the plus sign and then scroll down to the bottom and you'll get this link option. So you could click here. And again, this module is gonna look and feel the same across all of your site. And so here, if I wanna set up a category, let's just call this category three. And then if I go into shop, you'll see that category show up. So they are separate. So I can click here and it happens to be category three, but this can be, let's just say shopping bags or let's say wallets. 
Boom. So if category three is wallets, well, I could easily just set up the link to go there. And this is why setting up your URL slugs properly in the beginning is so important. And if you do want more help, I have great tools online for designers or people starting out on Squarespace, digital products that help you get started, videos that are not online that you could access via digital downloads that you could get right now. So check out the link below to get access to those now.